Hi, my name's George and I'm a scaffolder from Sheffield. What it was, I was, I was actually out of work um, when I was younger, because I wanted to be in the army, but that fell through. Um, and one of my mum's friends were a scaffolder and he'd asked me if I wanted to go and help him remove all the stuff from his house because he was moving houses. So basically what I did is he, I went and helped him, but I went non-stop all day. So he said, and obviously I was lifting a lot of gear and stuff. And he says, well, I know, I've got a job that'd be perfect for you. And that was that. He, he were a scaffolder. So really, I got into it that way. He, um, he said to me, he said, I think you'd be brilliant at scaffolding. He went, do you want to come to my firm and give it a try? Which was high peak at the time. And I said, yeah, no worries. And like I said, I, uh, I never looked right back really. I were, it was unfortunate when I got laid off and then when I come to Brookies, well, Will Brook scaffolding. And yeah, that was that. I've just continued ever since. When I were a little girl, I wanted to be a bin man or a doctor, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I don't know why. But um, I was a sporter growing up, so I was a really good gymnast. Uh, I was a national and international gymnast, so if I'd continue with it, I'd most likely be in the 2012 Olympics. I were up there with my gymnastic skills, so yeah. But I, I think it involves a certain amount of climbing, doesn't it, in gymnastics. Um, but I've always been agile, flexible. So climbing up and down scaffolds is not really an issue. You've got to have some, some form of strength, aren't you? But it's technique as well. It's not all about strength. So I don't need to go to the gym after a day's work. Because, <laughs> like I say, it's constantly lifting and walking and carrying, you know, like, so it keeps you fit. There's a couple of girls. There's a couple up north from Newcastle. Uh, I don't know her personally, but I have spoken to her via social media. Her name's Vicky, and she's the uh, first offshore lady to ever go. Scaffolding on rigs, I already did. Um, and there's a couple, I think there's Claudia, who was down south. She's like scaffolded Big Ben and stuff. So there is a few of us out there, but in Sheffield, I don't know any any, scaffold, any other scaffolders other than me, really. No, I've never really had any negative comments. I banter it, lads. But yeah, other than that, now they don't really get no negativity about it. They rate me, they say, you know what, good on you, because there's not many. There's not many uh, females out there, obviously, they don't see it, so once they see it, I think they're a bit shell-shocked, like, they're like, wow, it's a, it's a woman that's scaffolding. Good thing about being a scaffolder is money's all right, don't get me wrong, it pays the bills, so it's decent, it's decent weight. Depending on, obviously, what level you're at, everybody's got to start somewhere, so obviously, as a labourer, you don't get paid quite as much as what you do as a part one, part two advanced scaffolder. Like you say, your part ones aren't paid as much as part twos or whatever. I like travelling. So I like the fact from one day to the next you could be you could be in Sheffield, tomorrow I could be in Lincoln. Like um on Wednesday or Thursday or whatever I could I could be in London, like Oxford. So we we, we go pretty far out for this firm. Um it's just travelling, seeing different things. It's not boring like an office job. I like it doesn't suit me. Um I like being out in outdoors and stuff I like like I say, I like seeing different places and doing different things day to day. And obviously the lads that I work with. They're, they're a good laugh, so, and you know, like the banter's funner, so I just enjoy it. It's just, it's better, it's better suited for me than what an office job or whatever it'd be. You don't have to be quiet, do you? You can make as much noise as you want. <laughs> you just want to progress, so I want an advanced ticket. I'd like to be, by the time I'm at least 35, 40, a non working supervisor, all going to the health and safety side of things. Um, Course, yeah. I think obviously it takes a toll on your body as you get older. There's no real. I, I want to stick with scaffold. They know something based around construction. Well, nothing's out of reach, is it? If it's something that you'd like to do, don't take it as like a stereotype that men are scaffolders or you know plumbers, whatever bricklayers. Like women are starting to. Cook. Well, you see, you see a few women like on sites and stuff. I know female bricklayers, a couple of plumbers, like I've said, mechanics. Well, scaffolders, so I'd, I'd just go for it, you know, like I say, just, just grab bull bite arms and go for it. <laughs>